Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Maker Box Mondays, I'm going to show you uh, ASA filament from Post Plastics. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a ASA material and this is my first time using a ASA material and I was reading upon it and people were saying it was ABS-like properties with this filament and I decided to use my ABS settings on the slicer profile and I printed out a few things and overall I got pretty decent results even though I had to turn up the part cooling fan a little bit to get better results on the overhangs but let's have a look at the models so the first model I did was this test print and here you can see the, the fine details in the overhang test were a little bit melted and there was not enough cooling for those fine details on, on the overhangs so there was a little bit of issues here but otherwise those small braces came out pretty good and the rest of the print came out decent so I was quite happy with this initial print I got and but noticed the issues with the fine details here in the overhangs I then started to print my maker coin I had the part cooling fan turned off and this was facing forward to the f to the fan and this was facing backwards and I got this blob building up and I saw that I needed a little bit of cooling for this filament so I made another try I printed this maker coin and I turned the fan like 20 to 30 percent on and you can see in the steepest overhang there was a small issues but it finished after this part here it finished out pretty good and here you can see under the chin there's also small issues with the overhangs also with the, with the letters there are small issues but otherwise it came out pretty decent but overhangs are definitely something that is not very good with this filament the, the look of the maker coin is, is okay I just have to clean this up a little bit here I then printed out this bridging test and it came out pretty decent the longest bridges had a little bit of drooping but not the worst I've seen so it came out decent I think yeah, there's some issues here in this part of the print I then printed out two parts this one was laying down on the bed like this um, and this was laying down on the bed like this so here I'm just gonna test the strength of the filament um, it's quite quite strong and broke with a lot of force and here's the one that I'm going to test with layer adhesion and it's uh, here it was not very strong but quite quite strong though on the layer bonding so it was quite stronger than PLA at least in those tests and then printed out this Omnum model by Tessa it's uh, hollow so there's no supports inside it and that showed here on the top layers it was getting some drooping in from the inside so the top layers here were not coming out great but uh, the sides and the back side here is looking very nice so if I would have used supports the top layers would have been okay but this is just without any infill just to save on filament other than this issue at the top it came out pretty good and I was quite happy to try this ASA filament so this was uh, my quick look at the ASA filament from Post Plastics overall after tuning in the settings a little bit from the default ABS settings I was able to get pretty decent prints and it's a very strong filament pretty good layer adhesion and I found it to be a somewhat stiffer than a ABS print and a little bit more brittle but absolutely more stronger than a PLA print so I think this filament type has some good applications and I was reading on this filament being very UV resistant so if you're gonna print something that is gonna be outside in the sun it may be a good choice to use a ASA filament but overall I was quite happy with this filament and it's always nice to try out new materials I hadn't tried ASA material before but this will be it for this video so so I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.